Mayhem and I tops here. Um, yes, I'm in the same outfit as my last video because I'm pre-filming videos in a row to try and help me. Same crop top. It's a cute crop top. It has this cute little heart American flag on it. I went, I went for this side first because I... I'm looking in the view finder. Hi, Maylee. It's a puppy. Not a puppy. A dog. A doggo. Uh, this, by the title of this video, you can tell what this is. Um, I have a list here of all the camping gear you should ever need. Well, not ever need, but need for a basic camping trip. A tent, charger for a car, a sponge, dish soap, a cutting board, a knife, a large knife, camping pans. I recommend getting camping pans instead of taking your pans because that way you don't burn them on the fire. Their camping pans are designed for a different type of heat. So, there's that. Uh, food kits. What a food kit is, is it's a bowl with a lid, and then it comes with three containers and a cup. And a, it's a fork knife with a spoon on the end. Uh, s'more sticks, plasticware, paper plates, an oven mitt, because you gonna have to pull things off the fire if you're cooking on the fire or if you're cooking on like a, a propane stove oven not oven stove was the right word you're gonna need a oven mitt or a hot pad a big spoon a splat spatula spatula i can talk tongs which are the clicky things Uh, water bottles, a water jug to refill your water bottles. We got a big three gallon one that we just set on the edge of the picnic table and it's good. First aid kit. I'm going to be making a video about what's in my first aid kit because I actually put a lot of thought and effort into my first aid kit. So there's that. Fire starter kit which can include matches. I recommend waterproof ones, um, kindling, uh, fire starter bricks, and a lighter, which a lighter is the next thing on my list. A sleeping bag, a sleeping pad. You want to get a sleeping pad because that way you won't be able to slow the ground beneath you and it'll keep you actually slightly warmer, which may not be a concern during the summer, but when it does drop down to 60 degrees at night, it, it will help, I promise. Uh, a pillow, a lantern, a flashlight, uh, a bug candle. A bug candle is, uh, you can, the dogs are barking. I'm sorry. Um, Reno! Come here, right now. Oh, good Maylee. Have you guys ever seen Maylee? I don't think you guys have. This is my brother's dog. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she just laid down. <laughs> she flopped. <laughs> uh, anyways, a bug candle is a candle that when you light it, mosquitoes and other flying insects are repelled by it. You can buy them at Target, Walmart. Uh, any camping supply store should have them right uh wipes like baby wipes they're great for cleaning up messes uh especially sticky things they're great for wiping out pans if you don't have uh a dishwashing station or your dishwashing station is not that good so there's that paper towels a hand towel maylee you're moving my camera
bug spray and sunscreen, obviously. Uh, camping chairs, those are the fold-up chairs that come in the sleeves. Um, we also have one that comes in a plastic casing that weighs less than a pound because it's a pack pack. Hiking backpack pack. It's a hiking chair. <laughs> I can't English today, apparently. Uh, then toiletries. So, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, a comb or a hairbrush, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, extra hair ties if you are female or you have long hair. And then clothes. Shirts for how many days you're going to be gone. Shorts for how many days you're going to be gone. I recommend at least one pair of pants just in case it rains. Underwear, bras, swimwear, hoodie, pajamas, and shoes. Okay, any extra bedding you want to bring. So I have this brown blanket that I will bring with me camping because it just adds that little extra comfort. Comf comfort, I can English, I promise. Comfort in between me and the ground. A saw, an axe. You don't need both, but we have both, so they're on our camping list. Um, I recommend a small hatchet, and make sure your hatchet comes with a cover so that you can safely store it. Wood. Which most of the time you can just go walk out into the woods and find a bunch of pretty big sticks and burn those. Uh, glow sticks, cooler, a dish pan, games and toys. People, when they go camping, they think that they're going to be able to find all the activities they want in one go at the campsite. But that's not always the case. So there's that. A can opener hand sanitizer, trash bag, tablecloth, and then I have clips on here so you can clip the tablecloth to the table, to the picnic table. If you don't have, if you're not sure your um, campsite's going to have a picnic table or not, I would recommend taking a fitted sheet and then you can stick a cooler in one corner, shoes in a bag in the other, and maybe a chair or two and you can create a picnic area. Ropes, a hammock. We we own a hammock. You don't need a hammock though. This is just something that we own that we take with us. Uh, decorations for your campsite and your tent. We have these little light battery operated pineapple lights that we decorate our the outside of the tent with so we can see the tent at night. Ice and food. Now, I don't have any food on this list, but if I can find my other journal, I have a list of camping food. Mainly, you just moved my camera again. Camping food. There we go. So, there's this thing called a hobo dinner. And what a hobo dinner is, is it's meat and veggies put into a foil packet cooked over a fire. Now, this is how we make ours here. We do bell pepper, carrot, pineapple, potatoes, meat of choice, celery, spices, seasonings, mushrooms. That's what I have written. That's what we normally put into it. Reno! Reno! The neighbor dog is out, so we're just going to listen to barking for a little bit. Uh, we do tuna fish sandwiches because they're easy. Pack bread, PB&J make makings. Uh, hot dogs, don't forget the bun, ketchup, mustard, relish. Uh, you can do uh, mac and cheese. They, There are mac and cheese packs that don't require milk or cheese. They kind of come with like a squeezed cheese. And they taste exactly like Kraft mac and cheese. Like, it's a brand. Yeah, that's, yeah. 
um, ramen noodles, like top ramen. And it's super easy. You just have to boil water, throw in your packets, drain the water off, and add the seasoning stir, and there you go. Um, fresh fruit and vegetables. I recommend grapes and strawberries and carrot sticks, like homemade carrot sticks and homemade celery sticks. Um, trail mix. Um, I have a video on my channel for trail mix. I will link that down below. Uh, jerky. I recommend teriyaki because that's my favorite. So, yeah. Uh, protein bars, crackers, and just snacks that your family enjoys. And then s'more makings. Don't forget s'more makings if you're going to do s'mores. Yeah. That's it for this video. Um, I'm sorry about the barking. I'm sorry about all the background noise. Um, it's just life. It happens, especially when I'm not filming in my room. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck with your camping trips. And... I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Mayhem and High Tops. Don't forget to like and subscribe.